Hello everyone, it's your boy Karen Saras back with another video presentation and today what we're going to do is we're going to install and configure the HTML server so basically the environment is we have a server on this side via a, um, a virtual machine it's our 2008 server R2 and you also have a normal client right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to configure the HTML server in such a way where we create a local emailing system so the network the network address we're going to be playing with is a uh, 10.0.0.0 on a slash 25 so basically the gateway would be 0 0.1 the server address would be 0 0.2 and the client would be 0 0.3 right i have already configured the um, the adapter so let's just check the settings to make sure cmd ip config so we are on the client machine here and here we see 10.0.0.3 all right now let's go over on the server side and just test the settings ip config yeah here we have 10.0.0.2 so from here let's go ahead and ping the client just to just to ensure that connection is established now some people when they go to set up different type of server server my bad yeah when they go to set up different type of server they just go installing without doing these normal tests now if this ping fail then no way the server no no way the HTML server could work within that environment so this test is just to ensure that connection established all right so here all the pings, all the packets went through um, we could stay from the server and we can hit the client so from here now let's go and download a copy of um, HTML server and and run it through now these are the different versions of the HTML server now we can't just go run in by the and just um, download the latest version sometimes the latest version doesn't really work all that well and and sometimes it's, it's the beta version it is it is not the full version so basically we went into the um, system requirements and see which version would be compatible with our microsoft windows server 2008 so here we see that up to version 5.4 so we go we download it well i've already downloaded it so i'll just show you all the process the correct process in doing things right also before um I have already done it but this is another um, recommendation when you all setting up especially within a server environment um it's good to do the windows update just to get all the latest updates now for instance the .NET framework and these other programs um also i have um installed outlook on the server now because this is a testing environment we could get away with it it's okay because it's a testing environment but in a real world environment you don't want any um messaging in this form on this server because this is a major security breach so yeah you all get the nitty gritty as in how we're gonna do this thing here um let's access the let's access the HTML server we downloaded okay so i have it download here i'm just gonna run it basically i find this is one of the easiest mailing server to install and configure and these things um on the other hand things like um microsoft um the exchange server as powerful as it is sometimes the installation process is a little tedious but in the future i probably will give you all a video on how to configure that server as well so here basically is our next next process just going through the application wizard this point i would just like to point it because i create a partition I like to have my installation formatted in our way yeah. yeah so <coughs> now next next process here you're just gonna create your password for to log on to the server itself the HTML server so uh, what can I have uh, 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 alright okay so we have our installation up and 
got our home installation up here so from here now we're just gonna fire it up launch it and create a domain because as i say it's a local um it's a local emailing system we're gonna create here so we're just gonna fire it up here um i probably hit it twice by um accident when uploading okay so i'm gonna fire the program here connect the password they just create is the one you're gonna put in okay so here we are now we're gonna create a, a domain i'm just gonna name it local.com you can name it anything yeah just name it local.com and within the domain we see in the server here we're gonna we're gonna create some accounts um help this um it's a good password um okay okay and we're gonna create another account just for testing purpose um uh, Vincent uh, save all right so, uh, so just let me check something here yeah, now we're just gonna set up the Microsoft Outlook just to ensure that so let me just double check something gonna double check something okay so yeah let's go configure our Microsoft Outlook go up and file add an account manually set it up internet name of it is help this the email address would be help this at local.com the incoming mail server the 10.0.0.2 now this address would be this address here would vary so this address here is actually the server address because the hmail server is configured on this server here this is the server address as you could see let me just yeah, as you can see, 10.2. So whatever is your address, you will, you're going to put it here. So for mine, it's 10.2. 10 .2. 2, right? Uh, Local.com. Put back in the password. Now the password here is a password where we created when we when we were setting up the account. The password we enter here. So this is the password you got to put back here. Mine was... Um, let's go in uh, more settings. Yeah, let's check to make sure everything straight. Okay, so let's just test it and see. Nice. So here we see everything set up nice. We're gonna hit next. One more time. Finish. Oh, so here we already have this account set up. Yeah, we have two successful message coming in. Now let's go on um, the client side and set up. We go on the client side and set up another um, outlook. To run this end here now. I'm gonna open outlook. I'm gonna create a, an additional account. Woohoo! Yeah, bootleg software, but it's all good, is it? It's a tested environment. 
could always enable that okay so basically doing the same thing this account could be vincent vincent at local.com lcl at local.com and we pointing it back to the server 0 0.2 10.0.0.2 at local.com password um, let's go in more settings here um, enable this let's check to make sure it's mpt25 right okay so the ports are all configured let's just do a test bam bam right so we hit in from here so let's go set up the um let's send a test email just to ensure everything is is cool so we go on the um well it's Vincent account home and let's send a new email so what we're gonna do here we're gonna stay from the client and message and message um help us at local.com um, send a basic message send a basic message from here we could do a send and receive just to make sure everything running smooth okay let's go over on the server side and see what's up so we are here over on the server side here now server vm go send and receive and see oh look how our mail came through here who is the boss so i just reply so basically the the the, the whole service is already um the whole service is um already set up so this is um yeah so basically this is how you set up your HTML server within a local environment. Um, I would create another video in the coming weeks demonstrating how to hook it up. Whereas you'll be able to message like instead of just local mails you can hit um you can message the hotmail, different the different domains, hotmail or yahoo or whatever the case may be. So let's just check the um the client and see if our reply came through. And basically this is um yep we have our reply message came in here from help desk mr cyrus is so basically um this is the end of all my video presentation thanks you for watching comment rate subscribe see you all next time